This is the first video talking about the theory of open channel flow. It's important that we understand some concepts before we start our calculations. Uh, the first thing to note is that in open channel flow, we have a free surface that is open to atmosphere. So we have water lying in a channel and the top of that surface is open. So it's not the same as in a pipeline where you've got a completely closed flow. Secondly, we're assuming that we have uniform flow through the channel. Um, this means that the cross-section of the flow is constant along the channel. It's not getting wider or narrower or deeper. It's the same all the way along. Secondly, that the mean velocity is constant, that um, the velocity of the flow along the channel is essentially the same and also that the frictional resistance is equal to the head due to the gradient. So in other words, the flow is caused by the change in head and the velocity of the flow is dependent on the resistance to that flow, which is due to friction on the surface. So those are all concepts associated with uniform flow in the open channel. So looking at a typical rectangular channel as you can see in the green diagram we have the width of the channel and we have the depth of the, of the water so we have three surfaces that are touching the water surface so the perimeter would be two times the depth plus the width that is the length of the perimeter the area is the depth multiplied by the width and then we have a concept called the mean hydraulic radius which is used later on to calculate the velocity. And this is taking the area, dividing it by the perimeter. So designated by the letter RH, um, area is DW and the perimeter is 2D plus W. So that's our formula for the hydraulic radius, but that's only applicable to a rectangular channel. We'll look at different cross-sectional areas in different problems going forward. All right, now we need to talk about how do you calculate the velocity of flow in a channel. Two main formulas that we use, the Manning formula and the Chessy formula. The Manning formula, um, velocity is equal to the hydraulic radius to the power of two thirds divided by the Manning constant multiplied by the square root of i and the Chessy formula, velocity is equal to the square root of the hydraulic radius times I, uh, and then multiplied by a constant C. And as we know, discharge Q is velocity times area. So we, V is our mean velocity. RH is the hydraulic mean hydraulic radius. I is the bed slope of the channel, uh, which we can calculate by taking the height of the drop off and dividing it by the length of the distance along the channel so that will give us our i value c is a resistance coefficient we use in the chessy formula and n is a manning reference coefficient used in the manning formula all right so that's all for this video i'll do an 